everyone. My name is Pilar Alcaide and I'm the chair of BCBS 21. It's been my pleasure to work with uh, the BCBS 21 vice chair, Dr. Sumanth Prabhu, with the members of the scientific program committee and with the leadership of the BCBS Early Career Committee to put together a fantastic meeting that I'm here to present to you. So our mission this year was to gather the best basic and translational cardiovascular science and to create an environment to engage discussions with scientists around the world. And this was taking advantage of the virtual space. So all this while helping support the careers of trainees by giving them many opportunities to present their science, grow professionally, and interact with leaders in the cardiovascular research. So the meeting will kick off with two early career sessions moderated by early career investigators. And each of those have uh, four abstracts presenters that have been selected from over 318 abstracts that were submitted this year. So this will be followed by the early career keynote lecture by Dr. Jill Tardif, a leader in the field of cardiomyopathies and a role model scientist and physician who will be telling everybody about her journey as a physician scientist. We also have 12 concurrent sessions with four speakers each, and one speaker in each session has also been selected from the submitted abstracts to provide trainees with the opportunity to present with leaders in their fields. Dr. Prabhu will present in a little bit some of the highlights of these concurrent sessions. We also have one session that is a state of the art in cardiac fibrosis and inflammation in which Dr. Franco Janis will be speaking uh, along with three other uh, abstracts selected from the, from the submissions. And on top of these 12 concurrent sessions, there are three standalone uh, sessions. So those don't overlap with anything. So I encourage all of you to attend. One of them is the keynote lecture by Dr. Douglas Mann, a pioneer in the field of cardiomunology. And he'll talk about the implications of inflammation and heart failure. Uh, the second one is the Outstanding Early Investigator Award competition. We will have, we have three finalists that have been selected that will be telling us about novel insights into cardiac pathological remodeling, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and mitochondrial function in the heart. And lastly, we have the Woman in Science Breakfast, that is a session that will be moderated by Dr. Nikki Purcell and myself. And we will be hosting the Editors-in-Chief of Circulation, Circulation Research, Journal of Molecular and Cellular Cardiology, and the American Journal of Physiology. So Dr. Friedman, Dr. Hill, Dr. Rontian, and Dr. Mary Lindsay will be discussing their journey as leader PIs, as well as the roles uh, as Editors-in-Chiefs. And they will also uh, share their thoughts on how the COVID-19 pandemic is impacting women's publications and research careers. So on top of that, we have moderated poster sessions with live Q&A and an integrated for the third time Asian Cardiovascular Symposium. We've been closely working with the leaders of the four Asian societies, and they will be presenting also highlights of, of research presented by members of their societies. So last but not least, sponsored by the Early Career Committee, there will be a mix and mingle virtual event that I encourage all BCBS attendees to, to attend and connect. And I am very excited about this meeting and I really look forward to seeing you all join these sessions and network from the comfort of wherever you are to enjoy cutting edge science. Thank you, Pilar. Uh, I'm Samanth Prabhu. I'm the vice chair of the BCBS Program Committee. As Pilar mentioned, we have a variety of uh, different types of sessions. Uh, we wanted to encourage not only senior scientists, but also uh, up and coming uh, uh, trainees and, and junior faculty uh, to present their work in a, a variety of formats. But the other aspect of this meeting, which I think you'll find if you go through the program in detail, is the translational nature uh, uh, of the science that's being presented. And while I don't have time to go through every session, I would like to highlight that we have specifically uh, focused on COVID-19 and cardiac injury and uh, you know, what are the mechanisms uh, for how uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection impacts the heart and how uh, does this uh, uh, impact a prognosis in a particular individuals. And these are data and uh, studies that are done uh, uh, in human disease 
and uh, really uh, highlight uh, the ability of our scientific technology uh, to look into mechanistic uh, pathways uh, in, in humans. Uh, adding to this translational theme uh, include precision medicine approaches in heart failure, both heart failure reduced ejection fraction and heart failure preserved ejection fraction. And I think that you'll find that uh, this is a combination of uh, human studies uh, and uh, animal modeling uh, that allows us a different perspective on what is the underlying pathology and pathogenesis of cardiac dysfunction. Uh, adding to this translational theme, we uh, have uh, uh, both cutting edge science and, and uh, 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 scientific abstracts that were presented uh, focusing on myocytes and non-myocytes and cardiac hypertrophy. While we know uh, that uh, the cardiomyocyte is, is uh, very important in terms of uh, pathology. Uh, I think that our understanding of non-myocytes uh, in the heart, including fibroblasts, inflammatory cells, uh, vascularity and vascular smooth muscle cells, is uh, expanding at a very rapid clip. And we're very happy that we have outstanding speakers uh, that will present their work uh, in these areas. Uh, we also have a, a focus on genetics. and what is uh, occurring uh, in terms of the pathology of uh, cardiomyopathy and how can we uh, take findings from the bench, uh, genetic abnormalities that are documented in humans, uh, multi-scale approaches to uh, looking at cardiac dysfunction at a variety of levels to come up with a, a integrated picture of uh, cardiomyopathy uh, in, in humans. So uh, these are just a, a snapshot, a highlight of some of the sessions uh, that are uh, translational in nature, uh, but we also have uh, a variety of sessions that are focused on uh, basic science and, and discovery science for up and coming um, uh, novel uh, areas of exploration uh, in heart disease and heart failure. I encourage everybody to attend uh, the BCVS sessions this year. Uh, uh, the the uh, the meeting uh, is going to be uh, tremendous, and I want to thank uh, both Pilar and the uh, program committee, uh, as well as the early career committee, uh, for crafting uh, the final program. So thank you, Suman. Thank you, Pilar. So we hope to see you all attending uh, BCBS 21. Hope to see you there. <laughs>